Novitas Solutions, a CMS contractor, welcomes you to the on-demand education series. This on-demand tutorial is a general summary that explains certain aspects of the Medicare program, but it is not a legal document. The official Medicare program provisions are contained in the relevant laws, regulations, and rulings. The information enclosed was current at the time it was presented. Medicare policy changes frequently. Links to the source documents have been provided within the document for your reference. This presentation was prepared as a tool to assist providers and is not intended to grant rights or impose obligations. Throughout this module, you will see a citation number behind certain elements of information as shown in the example below. This citation number coincides with the transcript document positioned next to the Play Now icon you selected on the Training Videos Click and Play page on the Novitas Solutions website. The citation and associated hyperlink to the resource described in the module will be found on the transcript under footnotes for each slide. Novitas Solutions On Demand Education Series presents Provider Enrollment Gateway Submit an Enrollment Application. Provider Enrollment Gateway The Provider Enrollment Gateway allows for online submission of paper based enrollment applications. You can upload enrollment applications, upload development responses to enrollment application submissions, request a copy of enrollment correspondence, and check the status of a previously uploaded application. For more information, visit our Provider Enrollment Gateway Help Guide. Enrollment Applications The Gateway accepts only the following paper enrollment application types in portable document format or PDF. CMS 855A Institutional Providers CMS 855B Clinics, Group Practices, and Other Suppliers CMS 855I Physicians and Non-Physician Practitioners CMS 855R, Reassignment of Medicare Benefits. CMS 855O, Eligible Ordering and Referring Physicians and Non-Physician Practitioners. CMS 20134, Medicare Diabetes Prevention Program Suppliers. CMS 588, Electronic Funds Transfer Agreement. And CMS 460, Medicare Participation Agreement. All other application types can be submitted via Provider Enrollment Chain and Ownership System or PECOS or mail. Submit Application Step 1. Now we will walk through how to submit a completed paper enrollment application on the Provider Enrollment Gateway. First, you will access the Provider Enrollment Gateway. Review the terms and conditions, and if you agree, select Accept. Submit Application Step 2. You will provide the National Provider Identifier, or NPI, state in which you are enrolling, and email address for the application you intend to submit. Check the Submit an Application box. Select Email One-Time Access Code. Submit Application Step 3. The access code will be emailed to the email address provided. You will have to input the one-time six-digit access code. The access code emailed will only be used for this transaction and will expire after 30 minutes. Submit 
Submit Application, Step 4. On the next screen, you will have to select the application type, reason type, and state in which you are enrolling. To view the full list of application and reason types, visit the Provider Enrollment Gateway User Guide. Organization, Application, and Reason Types. The application type is simply the form you are submitting. The reason type corresponds with Section 1 of the paper application. For the CMS 855A, CMS 855B, and CMS 20134 forms, we have the following reason types. New enrollee, enrolling with a new fee-for-service contractor, reactivation, voluntary termination, change of information, and revalidation. The CMS 855A form has a few additional reason types. Change of ownership or chow buyer, chow seller, acquisition merger buyer, acquisition merger seller, consolidation former organization, and consolidation new organization. Individual application and reason types. For the CMS 855I form, we have the following reason types. New enrollee, enrolling with a new fee-for-service contractor, revalidation, reactivation, change of information, and voluntary termination. For the CMS 855O form, we have the following reason types. New enrollee, change of information, and voluntary termination. New reassignment, termination of a reassignment for individual, and termination of reassignment for organization are the three different reason types for the CMS 855R form. Submit application, step five. If you are an Indian Health Services or IHS provider, make sure to check IHS and select Texas as the state. You should have already saved the application on your computer. Next, you will select Choose File and find the application file on your computer. Once the correct file has been selected, click Upload. Submit application, step six. Once your application has been uploaded, a supporting documentation question will populate. If you have supporting documentation to upload, select yes and upload the supporting documentation. If you do not have supporting documentation, select no. Submit application, step seven. Once all applications and supporting documents are uploaded, select submit. Submit application, step eight. You will receive confirmation within the gateway that all documents were submitted successfully. An email containing the submission ID and National Provider Identifier, or NPI, used for the application submission will be sent to the specified email address. Important, you must retain your submission ID and NPI to check the status or access decision letters for the application. You will receive a separate submission ID for each application submission. It is best practice to save these emails for future use. Submit application, step nine. If you need to submit a corresponding application, 
select Submit New Application. There are certain circumstances that require a companion application. For example, an individual initial enrollment with reassignment scenario requires both the CMS 855i and CMS 855r. An initial enrollment of a clinic group practice requires the CMS 855b and CMS 855r or CMS 855i for physician assistance. Important. We have a few important reminders for using the gateway. You will want to make sure that you are on the correct jurisdiction before accessing the gateway. When accessing the Novitas website, you want to make sure to pick Jurisdiction H or Jurisdiction L dependent on your state. The Gateway will only bring up states within that jurisdiction. The Gateway will only accept files in portable document format or PDF. The submission ID will be used to check status or access decision letters. So you need to make sure to save the email that contains the submission ID of the application submission. To retrieve status, access decision letters, and respond to development, the initial application must have been submitted in the gateway. To submit a revalidation application, you must have the document control number or DCN. The DCN can be found on the revalidation letter. It is always best practice to wait and receive your revalidation letter before submitting a revalidation application. Lastly, if your application gets rejected or denied and you need to submit a new application, you will have to start the application process from the beginning. Thank you for attending. We encourage you to visit our website at www.novitas-solutions.com to access additional on-demand resources or participate in our educational events. Visit our Learning Center to access the most current Medicare education.